Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this video we are going to take up another challenging and interesting system of equations from BMO. Equations are x plus 1 times yz equal to 12, y plus 1 times xz equal to 4, z plus 1 times xy equal to 4. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by considering equation numbers first 1, 2 and 3. Now I will multiply means I will write equation number 1 as xyz plus yz equal to 12. Equation 2 will become xyz plus xz equal to 4. Equation 3 we will be writing xyz plus xy equal to 4. And if you will notice only second and third equation, then xyz, xyz and right hand side it is 4 and 4. So what I will do, I will take away third equation from second one. So what we can cancel xyz and 4 and 4 will be 0. So I will be writing here xz minus xy equal to 0. Take x common, z minus y equal to 0. From here either x equal to 0 or z equal to y. Now if you will see only if I will put x equal to 0 in equation number 2. So in equation 2 plug the value x equal to 0. So I will be writing equation 2 first xyz plus xz equal to 4, 0 plus 0 equal to 4. Is this true? No, it is not true. So that conclusion is we will reject this solution x equal to 0. So only accepted relation that is z equal to y. And now I will apply to equation 1 and equation 2. So let us apply z equal to y in equation 1, 1 and 2. What was equation 1? So equation 1 was xyz plus yz equal to 12. Equation 2 was xyz plus xz equal to 4. Let's apply and we will get two more equations. Equation number 4 I will call. Put over there. So I will be writing xy square. xyz will become xy square. Then I will be having y square equal to 12. And equation number 5 after putting z equal to y in equation 2. So I will write xy square plus I will write x, y equal to 4. Okay. Now from equation number 4, if I will calculate the value of x, y square. So what I will write from here only. So I will write x, y square equal to 12 minus y square. And this value I will substitute in equation 5. So I will be writing here. 12 minus y square in this place plus xy equal to 4. I will write xy equal to 4 minus 12 plus y square which is equal to y square minus 8. Now equation is xy equal to y square minus 8. Let's multiply both sides with y. So I will multiply this side with y. So I need to multiply this side also with y. So left hand side will become xy square and right hand side will become y cube minus 8y. Now xy square in terms of y it is available here. So let's put this value. So I will write this value. In LHS, it will become 12 minus y square equal to y cube 
माइनस एट वाई और वाई क्यूब प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एट वाई एंड माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज वन क्यूबिक इक्वेशन वी विल यूज रेशनल रूट थ्योरम एंड सिंथेटिक डिविजन टू फाइंड आउट द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन सो लेट एस कंसिडर वाई क्यूब प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एट वाई माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो वाई क्यूब प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एट वाई माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो लेट एस बिगिन विद द रेशनल रूट थ्योरम एंड हेयर आई विल कंसिडर द इलिजिबल फैक्टर्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म ट्वेल्व सो आई कैन राइट हेयर प्लस माइनस वन फर्स्ट फैक्टर फर्स्ट पेयर ऑफ फैक्टर प्लस माइनस टू प्लस माइनस थ्री प्लस माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस सिक्स एंड प्लस माइनस ट्वेल्व लीडिंग कोफिशियंट इज प्लस माइनस वन सो देर इज नो कंस्टेंट वंस वी विल डिवाइड द कॉन्स्टेंट टू द लीडिंग रेशियो सो लेट एस सब्सटीट्यूट वाई इक्वल टू वन लेट सी वॉट विल कम आउट वन क्यूब इज वन वन स्क्वायर इज वन माइनस एट माइनस ट्वेल्व it won't satisfy if i will put y equal to 2 so it will become 8 plus 4 minus 16 minus 12 again it is not if i will substitute y equal to minus 2 minus 2 see minus 8 plus 4 plus 16 minus 12 20 minus 20 yes it is true that means y equal to minus 2 is base solution so what i will consider now i will use sdm synthetic division method for this i need to write all the coefficient of this cubic equation so let me write all the coefficient the coefficient of y cube is 1 coefficient of y square is 1 coefficient of y is minus 8 coefficient of constant term or constant it is minus 12 put one line over there one as it is now multiply with the base solution minus 2 times 1 minus 2 add both minus 1 minus 2 times minus 1 2 minus 6 minus 2 times minus 6 12 0 so here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation so equation will become y square minus y Minus six and equal to zero. Let's solve this equation. One solution is confirmed. That is y equal to minus two. So I will write here y square minus y minus six equal to zero. I will use the method of factorization. As I can see, factors of six three times two. If I will take the difference, so that Will give us the middle term. So I will be writing y square minus 3y plus 2y. This middle term minus y I have written minus 3y plus 2y minus 6 equal to 0. Now if I will take y common from the first two, I will be writing y minus 3. 2 common from the last two, I will get the same bracket y minus 3. so it will become y plus 2 times y minus 3 so far equal to 0 and y if i will put equal to 0 then i will be having y equal to minus 2 and once i will put y minus 3 equal to 0 i will be having y equal to plus 3 so we have got Three values basically minus two minus two so minus two with multiplicity two or let me write in this way minus two minus two and three now remember y equal to z so I can write our z value also at the same time so I will write in this way y equal to z equal to minus two minus two and three. now i will use equation number 5 equation number 5 was 
let me write here y equal to minus 2 minus 2 and 3 with z also now equation number 5 i will write equation 5 was xy square plus xy equal to 4 now i will put the value of y 1 by 1 minus 2 and 3 and i will collect the value of x so let's put y equal to minus 2 first minus 2 so i can write it is x times y square plus y equal to 4 x times minus 2 square 4 minus 2 equal to 4 so 2x equal to 4 so from here we will have x equal to 2 when y is minus 2 x is 2 and z is equal to y so i will be writing here x y z our first solution that would be equal to 2 comma minus 2 comma minus 2 now let's put y equal to 3 only this value so once i will put i will be writing here y square plus y equal to 4 in the same equation 5 so x times 3 square is 9 3 equal to 4 so it is 12 x equal to 4 x equal to 1 by 3 x is 1 by 3 y is 3 z is equal to y so z is equal to 3 so let me write here x y z or z equal to x that is 1 over 3 y it is 3 z equal to y so 3 so our final solution becomes minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 and 1 by 3 3 and 3 here it is 2 comma negative 2 comma negative 2 and second solution set is 1 over 3 comma 3 comma 3 i hope you like this video Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget friends to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.